basically what's involved in, in our sampling is the just we come to the pre-designated sites um, we have to measure down quite a lot of the um, measurements of the beach uh, such as seaweed litter how transparent the water is where the wind direction and what the weather conditions are like and stuff like that basically you just go out as far as you can with your waders um, if, if there's waves coming in then sometimes you can't go out as far or you're going to get wet we have to maintain a sterile technique and make sure you don't contaminate anything after the samples are collected, I just um, store them in a cool box in the back of my van which has ice packs in it um, to maintain a, a cool temperature and keep the samples in the dark until they're back at the lab. The samples are for uh, microbiological analysis, so uh, they're looking for viruses and uh, bacteria that are living in the sample. So when the samples arrive in the lab, they're processed straight away by membrane filtration. We sample a known volume of water through a filter with a known membrane size and that traps the bacteria within the sample and allows the water to pass through it. We then take the membrane and transfer it to a nutrient agar plate. These are specially formulated uh, plates containing an enrichment growth media that encourages appropriate bacterial growth. We then incubate them at either 37 or 44 degrees depending on the organism overnight and in the morning we can then count the plates, multiply by the dilution factor and this will give us our end result.